Hello everyone and welcome to the review of qualifying for round 3 of the race Porsche Cup, this time in Hungary, which sounds a lot like the word Hungary. Um, yeah, well, don't ask, don't say anything, I guess that's the best we can ever do. As you just saw, PK Glover and Durr winning, uh, they were quite on a bit of a, well you could call it a comeback. Uh, the first to go on track as we can now have a look at my beautiful, beautiful car. Uh, reskinned in, uh, in honor of the, the events in France recently. I actually think I like this livery more than I like the regular one. I think the blue kind of suits the car in a better way. Uh, but yeah, well, this, it is a temporary thing though. Uh, now for the new drivers present here. Uh, Q1, always perfect conditions, always sunny weather, tires don't wear and uh, the fuel doesn't run out. This is what every race driver's dream race looks like. Um, anyway, on to the fastest times. Well, this guy whose name I can't remember right now. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not good at remembering new names and that's that's just me being slightly autistic. Uh, THWHHB, that was his name. <laughs> uh, for the fastest in group two, uh, very interesting actually, because this is his debut run, and we might actually have a serious title contender in his hands. Uh, Durr winning, uh, somehow, uh, is winning qualifying again, uh, whereas, well, I might as well have been going slightly backwards. The one time I create a special livery for something and this happens. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> anyway, on to Q2, and well, I've speeded this up because you can see, well, there's, there's quite a bit of activity and... Uh, uh, what you'll see in a little moment is an in-pit collision happening right there. Uh, yeah, well, things were slightly chaotic here, and uh, you would be kind of happy if your car made it out of the pits alive. And, uh, yeah, well, it, this car is, Trashbook 23's car is alive, but uh, it has got some serious war wounds going on there. Uh, uh, this is uh, all footage from uh, the second heat. Um, well, the track was way worse than what it was in, uh, in Heat 1, that was also raining down all the time. But this this was way worse, somehow it got even worse. So only a few uh, drivers managed to improve their position. Uh, I think Crashbrook 23 was the, the last driver, uh, well you could say above, uh, a group of drivers where it just all got mixed up. And now you're probably wondering, uh, why are we looking at Dur winning now? Well, let me say it like this. We are not anymore. We are looking at Harsk 100, who actually managed to take pole position in Q2. A, a very, very fast lap going on here and a good performance. That sees him move right to the top of the grid here. THWHHP again, very, very, very strong here, it's, it seems. I, I don't know if it's just beginner's luck or if he's really that fast, time will tell. Uh, but but definitely a strong showing. The first, uh, first of all, taking uh, third place in the overall Q1 results, then taking second place in Q2, I think that's the best consistency we've ever seen. Uh, even beating Skyland, taking fourth place and everything. <laughs> In qualifying for Tetris 1, but now it's time for the race random qualifying stats of randomness. And what we have today is that race wins so far have only come from drivers in the top five. Now, will this apply to this race? Anyone's guess right now. I uh, I would say probably yes, because well, the stats kind of speak for themselves. Uh, but yeah, well, what is there to say about that? Uh, well, the top five do kind of have the optimal uh, position to do anything about it. So, uh, yeah, well, I hope you'll all join for the race so we can see if uh, this trend will continue. And if so, then which of the top five places will be twice as successful as anyone else? 